this is Wilson Morales, Black from TV, talking to Joseph Sakura regarding power. Book four force. See the finale. Hi, Joseph. How's it going? Wilson, good to talk to you again. Yeah, so that finale was crazy. How long ago did you know what would happen? Um, you know, the, the, the final script for episode 10 was kind of uh, in consistent flux. It was written by Vladimir Svetko, who um, was a, a writer for the original Power show. Um, and I think that he did a, a good job. Um, but it, the direction uh, uh, was just, I think, phenomenal um, by Dion Taylor, uh, who did an incredible job of, uh, of exacting the culmination of the first season and kind of this epic style that leaves a very decimated uh, picture at the end of it, including a, 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 a vengeful, revengeful, uh, totally <laughs> exacerbated Tommy at the end, you know, wanting revenge for Liliana. Now, I've seen the episode. It's titled Family Business, and obviously there's all sorts of drama within each family, you know, where even Tommy has to go through his own family now that it's been dis discovered that he has a brother, his mother's back in town, and all of a sudden, you know, we we've known Tommy to be sort of by himself, all this time, but now there's a fact that we didn't, uh, we didn't, there's a part that we didn't see coming, and that's more of, a, of an emotional side from him. Yes. Yeah, and I think that Tommy has always kind of wanted to have a family. Uh, he made his family with the St. Patrick's and the Power Show. He wanted to make a family and start a life with Lakeisha, um, and he's always lost. Um, Tommy is even it's almost kind of a vampiric existence for Tommy because everybody that he loved, he eventually outlived and, um, it makes for a very lonely existence. So I think that in that, uh, foursome shot with Tommy, d -Mac, JP and Kate, I think Tommy's trying to ask himself, is this real? How long can this last for? How can I make sure that this family stays the test of time. Mm -hmm. So it was very, very emotional, that episode as well. How was it to have Kate back in the picture? Um, I think I, I, I like, I, I said this uh, <laughs> to somebody else, but I have to repeat it because I think it's correct. I think Tommy, I think Joseph Sakura and uh, Tommy Egan feel the exact opposite way. That um, I, I hope she sticks around. You know, I'm sure Tommy wishes that she would get lost. Now, but, um, I think it's great. Patricia Columbus is a dynamic, fantastic actor. Audrey Esparza did such an amazing job as Liliana that we didn't know if we wanted to like her or hate her, but as she kept going on in more episodes, we grew to like her a lot. And, you know, this, this is going to air after the episode runs, but it's a shame that she had to go out and the way she went out. You know, how was it working with her throughout the series? Wonderful. She's a, she's as good a person as she is an actor. Um, she's uh, super collaborative. I think she makes great choices. She's such a nice person. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss working with her. Um, yeah, I loved the development of the friendship of Tommy and Liliana because it wasn't just Liliana proving herself to Tommy. It was Tommy also proving himself to Liliana in a real way. And um, it was a very natural and organic partnership that was built. Uh, the only way a true partnership can be built, and that's on faith and trust. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, you know, yet another loss uh, and a big L for, for Tommy Egan. And, we will, and I think that that's a wonderful place for him to start season two. You know, she was his ride or die, but within the same episode we saw uh, Tommy and Diamond get together and tell each other that they trust each other. So are we going to see more of Tommy and Diamond you know, teaming up, teaming, teaming up again in season two? Well, I think, you know, Diamond came through for Tommy in a real way, and in a way that he didn't necessarily want to at first, that we kind of saw that develop. That was almost a slow burn, and Diamond was staying true to himself. Um, I think that there will certainly be more uh, of the partnership between Diamond and Tommy. Um, 
because uh, Tommy can't do it alone. You know, I mean, no, no, nobody can. Uh, so Tommy does need some friends or at least some people that uh, that he can rely on in some capacity if he's going to still attempt to take over the city of Chicago. You know, you've been the center of the series for obviously a long time, and people know you from your previous works. Uh, what has this show done for you as an actor, knowing that you've taken on much more of a leading role? Uh, it doesn't feel like much more of a leading role than it was on the Power show. Pretty similar, but because everything, you know, you need that great ensemble. Um, I just, uh, I'm so lucky that I have another great ensemble to work with um you know legends like um tommy flanagan and uh you know so yeah so tommy and, and vic and, and claudia you know it's like at one yeah, point that's, you know, uh, lily simmons and shane harper and chris lofton and uh isaac keith and then some of these young actors which are just phenomenal i thought ahmad ferguson who plays marshall is what do you plan to do during the hiatus? Oh, um, I, uh, I I did a lot of um, uh, uh, a lot of press, and we start filming in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Wow! <laughs> no rest, yeah. huh? Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited to get back to work. You know, so, uh, you know, you you look back and obviously, you know, the show, it takes the time because we have, you know, unlike the other uh, Power series, which has characters from the original Power show, you know, we got introduced to a lot of actors on this show and it takes time before we start feeling like, okay, we know you're going to live, but we don't want to start caring for others. And then they all of a sudden, like, they're gone, like Gabriel Ryan, who was great right. in Gloria. We're like, oh, wow. You know, is there going to be another love interest for Tommy? Is, do we see Wilson, another love Wilson, interest coming? Wilson, we lost you for a second. Repeat that question. Okay. Um, oh, I, could, I could hear him. I heard him. Okay, great. So, would there be another love interest coming down the road in season two for Tommy? Uh, not that I know of, but, but the, the, I'm sure that it's a possibility. Uh-huh. So... Obviously, it's not he's a, always looking for love, even though he's still unlucky at it. <laughs> it's never your control, and obviously, Joseph That's is right. totally, Joseph is different from Tommy. But where do you see Tommy going now? Obviously, you know Liliana's gone. Uh, you know he lost his connect to the drug, but he's got a new uh, foundation, hopefully set with Diamond. You know, which is could, could be the start of a lot more. Where do you see Tommy going into, into season two? Uh, I think that Tommy is going to take revenge for Liliana first and foremost. And then I think that he will strategize. I think that uh, this is going to be a very complex season. Um, Gary Lennon, who's the showrunner, is just such a consummate artist and crafter of story that I can't wait to see where he goes because I have nothing but faith and trust in his ability. Uh -huh. And then... Would there be a possibility? We know Tommy's no. Tommy's appeared to be dead in the other shows, but towards the end of the season finale, we saw New York come back into play, in which there may be a possibility of some of those members from the original Power Show to come back in season two. Is that a possibility? Absolutely. You never know who's going to pop up in the Power Universe. Everything is interconnected. Now there have been a lot of conspiracy theories. Because throughout the season of Power of Force, you know, Ghost was always mentioned. And, you know, I keep saying he's dead. Is there a possibility, I'm just throwing it out there, that there's a possibility that somehow Ghost survived that shooting, even though we saw him on the ground with blood coming out of his chest? Um, I mean, sure, yeah, there's a possibility. I hope he makes an appearance in season two. <laughs> Have you caught up with any of the cast members from the previous show? Were you at Notori's wedding? I I actually couldn't make it because I was sick, um, and I couldn't I didn't uh, was not able to travel unfortunately. But um, they, she didn't she look beautiful? Her and two. I wish them uh, so much love and success. I love those guys. Uh, I still keep in touch. Very. Uh, I'm still good friends with uh, J R Ramirez, who played Julio on the original Power Show. Um, Joe Perino is one of my dearest friends in the world. Uh, so, yeah, I keep up with some of the people from the Power Show. Um, did you see Omari's uh, magazine cover, uh, the Australian one, Lock or whatever that was? It's great.
great. He looked, uh, he looked amazing. And he, he... Uh, so you're about to shoot season two. Have they given you a time frame as to how long you'll be shooting and when it's possibly going to air again? Um, yeah, we're going to be filming for about six months. Um, and then we're going to try to have a quick t- turnaround of the series, but because Gary Lennon is also um, an incredibly diligent worker and uh, a very capable editor, um, I think that he'll be working with the editors, and hopefully that it won't be much more than a year uh, before we have uh, season two. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask, you know, we see Tommy never worried about money. How much is Tommy loaded with? (laughs) I mean, you don't see Tommy worried about much. I'm Tommy's saying, worried about everything. No, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about what. I'm talking about like when it comes to money. Tommy always has enough to, you know, to pay his brother's bills. You know, even though he wants more. So, how much is Tommy a millionaire? Because he doesn't act like it, but he just like okay, money flows, comes and goes. I think that that's more of the case. Um, I think that Tommy spent. We just saw Tommy spend all of his money, right? That we knew that he had. Uh, he gave it all to the Serbs, two million bucks, and we saw him load up everything that he had hidden in the fire pole area. So uh, I think Tommy now is worth uh, zero dollars. Uh huh. And he's got to start from scratch. That's right. What a great place to start from. Exciting. <laughs> well, Joseph, I'm going to let you go because I know uh, you have to do more other interviews, but it's always good talking to you. Hopefully, I'll see you down the road. Keep it up. You know, we love the show. Yeah, sorry about the connections, man. Sorry about this damn phone. I, I don't. I, I blame the system. You know, hey, they better the system, you know. So uh, hopefully, we'll see you down the road. You know, it's always good talking to you and see you in person. Keep it up. We're here to support and yeah, wherever you're at. Talk to you too. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks. Thank you, Wilson. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.